Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Draz. And I'm Anara. Guys, are you talking about the hmm, the new Sesame Street movie? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. no. This is not a Sesame Street movie. This movie is called Happy Time Murders. And like the title says, it has a lot to do with murders. Oh, do you want to hear lot. a little bit about it, Anara? Um, okay. Well, Happy Time Murders is set in LA. And it's a cop comedy, and I use that term comedy in the loosest possible form. Very the, loose. The plot revolves around a string of suspicious murders involving the cast from the hit TV show The Happy Time Gang. Yeah, that's just like your Sesame Street show. However, they gradually keep being killed off one at a time. And when uh, the private eye Phil Phillips and he's reluctantly teamed up with his ex-partner Connie Edwards, yeah, played by Melissa McCarthy. The two become embroiled into a dark web of organized puppet crime as they unwittingly become suspects in their own case. So I think this film tries a little bit too hard with the, okay, look, please block your ears for a second. Yeah, definitely block your ears. He's about to swear. Okay. <laughs> so look, there's a lot of uh, vulgar type of humor here. We've got penis, vagina jokes. A bit of semen thrown into the mix. It, I feel like it's a really forced, it's so forced in the film. I think one of the standout characters is definitely Maya Rudolph. She's fantastic in this. But what about you, Ryan? What do you think about this? It fails both as a send-up of the detective noir genre and even the most basic of comedies. Almost every punchline of this movie falls flat. And the novelty of watching puppets say words and do inappropriate things wears off within the first five minutes. And hopefully mm. it hasn't worn off in this movie, am I right? <laughs> but look, you know, I think the puppetry in this is, is exceptional. Brian Henson really tried to get this off the ground for many, many years. And it was a lot of false starts, but then it got greenlit with Melissa McCarthy signing on not long ago. And look, we've got this movie and it tried. But look, at the end of the day... I actually remember this movie kind of being announced back in like 2011. And then they started sending out like concept stuff in 2014. And yet in 2018, it's still a terrible movie. How does this even happen? But there's one thing that this movie does do well, and I think probably it has something to do with the murders. Uh, imagine puppets being exploded on camera, guts except stuffing going everywhere, and puppets doing inappropriate things. While it does... While it is funny for, you know, about five minutes, it does come off pretty well on camera. It does, and it's very disturbing being puppets, seeing our guts get torn out and ripped out all over the place, but it does work, you're right. I lost a lot of friends in this movie. A lot of friends. Yeah, me too, actually. I will not delve into it, but... You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think this is not a bad movie. It's not bad for Brian Henson to get out there again and get this off the ground and try to follow in the footsteps of his father. Personally... I, look, I can't move my arms at the moment, but I'm going to give this two thumbs up because I think... Two? Yeah, look, two thumbs up because oh. I'm a puppet. I love seeing myself on the screen. And it isn't too bad. Melissa McCarthy can't really go wrong at the moment. She's on a bit of a, a hot streak, as you, as you say. Okay, well, I'm about to... I guess, uh, rip you another new armhole because I think this movie was absolute... Rubbish. It was dog shit. It was probably one of the worst movies I've seen all year, maybe at least in the last five years. And I'm sorry to say that, Drez, because I know you liked it so much. I know how much you like puppets. Last for me! But for me, I just, there was nothing about this movie that is going to last a long time. And Inara, for me, I would say go see anything else. Uh, and until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Drez. And I'm Inara. And we'll see you nerds at the, the movies. movies.